So in contrast um, to this compressed earth block house that I just showed, here is um, a, tr a mobile home that is more typical of what you see for the housing on the reservation in Pine Ridge. It's um, basically a, kind of a standard mobile home that's been um, produced off-site. So, for one thing, the all the materials and labor are not actually coming from the local economy. And this is a huge um, drain on the on the resources of the reservation. Um, the money is not being put back into the local economy for the construction of this building. Um, all the money that goes into the purchase of this of this housing unit uh, leaves the reservation for good. So any money that comes in um, that goes towards the purchase of uh, a house like this will leave the reservation and that dollar will never be seen again. Um, in contrast, this property here is built from um, local earth and much of the labor um, is coming from the reservation, volunteer labor. And initially, uh, in the future, we'd like to see uh, more um, paid labor, paid local labor coming from people on the reservation. And one of the major uh, future sort of drives of our work will be to try to um, bring in more of the youth, more of the young adults into the construction of these um, of these properties, these compressed earth block houses. So this is just kind of a quick um, tour of one of these mobile homes. And to be, to be truthful, um, this is not um, just a nuclear family type dwelling on the reservation. Many times you have um, many different um, people living in these in these homes. Many is up to 20 people, um, from grandmas or great grandmas to little children, all um, through the generations, family sharing these these dwellings, um, and they're not very well. Um, they don't have very firm foundations, so one of the big problems is in the winter, the um, heating costs for these properties or these houses are really high because they're basically not very well insulated. Um, as well as during the summer, there can be some very strong storms. And because this house is not um, per perched on a firm foundation, rather it's a mobile home, um, the high storm winds, even tornadoes can can sometimes tip these things over or even just flat out destroy them. Um, kind of blowing them down. Oh, here's a bird <laughs> uh, in the, there it goes. Um, but, so th this is one of the major visions of, of Henry Redcloud is to try to move away from this kind of housing unit um, towards a more um, sort of sustainable and locally derived and locally produced um, form of affordable housing. Um, so that's a major challenge in the, in the, in this upcoming, um, kind of 21st century is to try to get people out of these homes in Pine Ridge and into something more like this. And again, this is, um, the, vi the real vision here is that to maintain or to build up a local economy rather than flowing money out into the surroundings uh, to rather to keep the capital, to keep the money flowing on in, in, in the reservation, keeping um, people locally employed and um, the materials coming from local sources. So here's some of the blocks. So I'm gonna continue to take some more footage, but this is a rough kind of, um, picture of what the old and the new. So this is the new, and this is the old, uh, old style housing. So 